So suppose you want to do a screen grab of something that's in, say, a browser window and it scrolls. Like, for instance, this web page here scrolls. There's a lot of information that's not visible at the same time on the screen. So if you want to do a screen capture of the entire thing, then you have to do multiple screen captures or maybe get a special piece of software. There's several out there that will do a screen capture of the entire contents of a window. I get this question a lot from students that have notes that are online in various online classroom systems and they need to save them all so they can view them offline. Well, it's a lot easier than doing screenshots. You can actually just export the entire content of a web page. And a lot of people don't make that leap from screenshots to actually saving the contents of the page. In Safari, for instance, you can go to File, Export as PDF, and then we can export a file and it puts it here on my desktop. Uh, you can save it wherever you want. And if I double click on it, I can look inside Preview and there is, over multiple pages, the contents of that web page as a PDF which may actually be smaller and easier to read than as a series of screenshots. In fact, a PDF can easily be dropped into iBooks and other systems and uh, read on different types of devices. So that's really useful. You also have the ability to uh, go print and then you can decide whether or not you want the backgrounds included because sometimes uh, dark backgrounds can uh, you know, kind of get in the way. Uh, you can take away headers and footers and then you can do PDF and you can uh, save it as a PDF or just open it directly in Preview which is useful because then you can look at it in Preview first, decide whether or not uh, you need to save this and then save it out there. So there are several different ways there to save uh, the entire contents of a web page, uh, anything actually where you can print, you can save as PDF. Um, so not just web pages but other types of apps as well that you may want to save the contents of an entire window. Uh, note that on web pages a lot of times there's a different style sheet for printing than there is for viewing on, online. So uh, when you print it may not look the same as it does if you view it online. Hopefully it looks better because that's the whole idea of having those special uh, style sheets for printing. Uh, but if it doesn't look as good then you may be out of luck there. Uh, you may just have to use with uh, whatever they've got. I found one of the things that really works well with web pages since they're very horizontal is I go to print and then I change to a horizontal layout and then I get something that looks a lot more like the web page itself than when I try to print with a very narrow vertical layout. And I can still view this as a PDF just as easily. Mm -hmm.